just uh, we had heard of, of course the crop circles and our assessment was is that uh, from various reports there was an aerial phenomenon component to it uh, some type of uh, what we considered a probable extraterrestrial activity and so we had a team come here in uh, 92 93 94 and again this year in 1995 to uh, do research in the area, but particularly geared towards moving beyond uh, just a sky watch, but trying to actually make contact with whoever were making these crop circles uh, in some sort of a context of uh, interspecies communications and relations. So we had a team set up in the uh, uh, farm there below Woodboro Hill and uh, had been out uh, several nights uh, prior to the night that you mentioned on July 26th. Uh, it was actually uh, significant that two nights prior to that, on the 24th, uh, just after sunset, uh, with the sky still having a very crystal clear blue quality to it, uh, between 10 and 10.30, a uh, disc-shaped craft uh, catapulted through the zenith of the sky uh, covering about, uh, I would say, somewhere around th 30 degrees of arc, and was uh, quite low, actually, and quite clear, because the air was crystal clear. And you could see the lights going around it counterclockwise in this very unusual pattern. It started raining because we were in a field and cars were on this um, dirt track that would become very difficult mm -hmm. to pass. Most people left. There were four people who, who however, remained behind. I was one of them, mm -hmm. and then three other uh, members of the team. We uh, went to a paved road on the farm that we were working on there in Alton Barnes and uh, were waiting out this rain, which was really quite torrential at times. And at about 12.20 uh, a.m. on the 27th, the wee hours, of course, is the same night of the 26th, mm -hmm. just past midnight, there was an uh, extraordinary uh, event that then began. We had a uh, member of the team who was in a car behind mine come running around beating on the uh, windows and uh, I opened it and he said there's a spaceship in coming through the field. And I said, well, that's very, I thought he was joking, of course, and I turned and not far above the, the field, perhaps uh, 10 feet, was a uh, approximately 100 to 150 foot diameter disc with lights going around counterclockwise with a uh, sort of a cone or, or dome on top with three lights on the top of it, three or four amber lights. Now the lights that were going around counterclockwise were identical and the shape of this craft was identical to the object that came straight overhead on the 24th at about 10, between 10 and 10.30.